the next set of ratios that we are going to look at is liquidity ratios liquidity ratios so what is liquidity the liquid assets or liquid liabilities or something that has to be paid within next one business cycle so your current assets and current liabilities has to be considered as liquid assets and liquid liabilities so before getting into this interpretation of liquid ratios and calculating them let's understand what does this working capital mean working capital or net working capital is a difference between current asset and current liabilities current asset is something that we have to receive that we have to receive or we have invested current liability is something we have to pay or somebody else have invested on behalf of us somebody else has invested on behalf of us so now this is what we owe and this is what we have to receive or this is what we invested or this is what somebody else have invested on behalf of us so now if somebody asks you what would you prefer a higher working capital ratio or a higher working capital or a lower working capital you want this number to be positive or you want this number to be negative so your ideally your answer should be it depends if i am evaluating from a shareholder perspective if i am evaluating from a shareholder perspective then i would say a shareholder's money should not be blocked in current assets but it somebody else should be indirectly made pay for this requirement so a shareholder ideally wants current liability to be higher shareholder ideally wants current liability to be higher and current asset to be lower right let's take another uh, and hey, let's finish this and let's take another example so shareholder ideally wants current liability to be higher and current asset to be lower as a result if this is higher this is lower and this is higher then he wants this working capital ratio to be negative right on the other hand if you are a creditor then you want to ensure that you collect your money so if you have to collect your money then there shouldn't be many people who is standing in queue to collect their money you want to be the you want the company to have as less payables as possible right in which case a creditor wants current liability to be lower and the asset that he can rely on for his collection which is current asset to be higher so a creditor wants current asset to be higher right and current liability to be lower so a creditor wants working capital to be positive so if somebody asks you what what would you prefer a work, as a working capital the answer would be it depends from whose perspective a shareholder would prefer a negative working capital whereas a creditor would prefer a positive working capital he would ideally want this number to be as high as possible all right so with this small uh, introduction let's go ahead and calculate all the liquidity ratios